Motivator Man, that's my superhero name. I write a movie blog called Movies That Motivate, and I've been writing it for five years. I've written about 500 movie tips, and they're all designed to help people stay positive and get them through difficult times. And tonight, uh, Rudy is one of those movies that uh, is one of my favorites. Woo! All right, uh, Rudy fan right there. <laughs> so, uh, um, these movies uh, really have connected me and with other people around the world who've been reading my blog. And it's, uh, this is my blog here, Movies That Motivate. And it, it's an example of how all these movies um, you may not uh, know that they, they are motivational, you may not like them at first, but when you hear some of the stories I share tonight uh, from people who've written me or shared what have motivated them, then you, know, you will be hopefully motivated in your own life with these movies. Uh, one, one example is Paul here, who I met on Facebook, he's a fan of my, my blog. He said that he was going through a financial crisis, and uh, Rocky III was a movie that helped him especially the song Eye of the Tiger. So, you know, it's, it, was, it was amazing to hear that because it's like usually a movie that is not up there. Usually it's Rocky. Uh, Manny the Movie Guy, another great uh, uh, friend of mine online, he, uh, he's a film critic and he sees a lot of horrible movies, okay? And he says that he watches Citizen Kane to uh, reignite his cinematic soul. Um, Sean De Peron, she's uh, a media expert I, I took this amazing workshop with, and, and uh, we bonded over movies, and she says that when she feels scared, she watches Field of Dreams, and she even listens to the music soundtrack to lift her up. And Barry Shanebaum, who's in the audience? He's right over there. You can meet him later. He's uh, the author of a book called Hope and, Hope and Heroes. And uh, he's also gotten over bipolar mental disorder, which is amazing for me to, to know because he, when he said that A Beautiful Mind is a movie that motivates him because he, he feels that it's like seeing an old friend in John Nash in that movie. Uh, Homer Hickam, uh, how many people here have seen o October Sky? Okay, I highly recommend it because he, Jake Gyllenhaal plays him as a young lad and uh, he, he says this is just a great movie, even though it's about him, to motivate you, about your passion. <laughs> and Richard Krauss, a uh, Toronto film critic, he, he shared one of his favorite movies that shows great leadership um, with Amazing Grace. And I've never seen this movie, um, but this is the kind of thing that I love meeting other movie lovers, is that I get to learn movies that uh, I could see that I'll end up writing about. Um, Tony Shea, best-selling author and uh, CEO of Zappos. Uh, it's an honor to know this man. He's very successful. Uh, he says that one of his favorite movies that shows great leadership is The Matrix, uh, especially with uh, Morpheus. It would be great to have Morpheus as a mentor. <laughs> uh, Rupinder Nagra, he's the actor in Amal. And a week, again, we connected on Facebook. And um, one of his favorite movies is Shawshank Redemption because it's all about hope and, uh, and just really staying resilient and positive in a situation like uh, that movie. Okay, Reese Witherspoon, at the recent Academy Awards, she announced to the world that one of her favorite movies is Overboard. And it's a perfect example of how some of these movies, you may not, it may not be meaningful to you, but it's meaningful to somebody else. So uh, I might just check it out. Uh, Patrick Pizendavi, he's in the audience, he's here somewhere, right there, put up your hand. Uh, he's a great friend and he really surprised me recently because he told me that he'd actually lived in Africa during the atrocities that happened during, um, you know, the movie Hotel Rwanda. And he said a movie like Bloodsport with Jean-Claude Van Damme is the kind of movie that helped him stay positive. Uh, I mean, he faced all kinds of incredible stuff, so just really inspired by that. Um, Lynn Manwar is a friend of mine who's, who's going through chemo right now, and she said that one of the movies that keeps her motivated is this Bollywood movie called We Are Family. And again, I've never heard of this, but she's so positive that if she's that positive, then I'm going to check it out to see what this movie's about. Eat, Pray, Love is uh, a movie that Catherine was meaningful to Catherine because she was going through an abusive relationship at the time, and a friend just 
had her watch this movie, and it, it just allowed her to just cry and release. And, you know, movies are, are good for a good cry, too. Somebody else that I know, Anne, has seen The Color Purple over a hundred times. And, and she is so positive. And knowing that she has these health conditions, it, it just shows me the power of a movie. And Robin Noble, she's here in the audience too. Put up your hand, she's right there. She, she survived a devastating car crash years ago and she shattered her bones in her, in her, her body and her face and she had to learn how to walk and talk again. And, she said that Happy Feet was a movie she resonated with because it was about finding your rhythm again. And these people here, they're, they're all these beautiful people that I wanted to just share their stories and their movies. And, and hopefully they, they've inspired you. Maybe you're going through a difficult time and uh, there's a movie tip that, that just came up here tonight that you can now watch and, and know that you're not alone. And this is one of my uh, online sites that I'm now making this more accessible, my 500 tips uh, under uh, alphabetical order. So, because uh, that's my mission. It feels like I just want the world to be able to know that movies can help motivate you. And um, so, so check it out. It's at motivatorman.com. And, uh, and if there are people here or, you know, if you're part of organizations that could use these movie tips, um, come talk to me. I'd love to partner with you, and, and we can help change the world, uh, make it a better place through movies. So thank you very much.